Hi, Carol here, and thank you for joining me in my craft room today. And I just set a little bit of time out. My grandchildren have gone home. I was cleaning up some things in my craft room and decided to do this little video on a small canvas, an 8x10 canvas that I got at the dollar store. I applied some gesso. It's been sitting over there drying. And I want to quickly just go over the rack with you um, for the hundredth time, right? <laughs> I have a post on there if you're interested in joining the Rack Pack and you want to, um, what I do is I'm sending an envelope out and you've probably seen it and you're getting envelopes in there and you are going to send them out to a friend, a Rack Pack friend that I send you their name and you're going to do this every month and I'm going to send out a rack to you every month and I'm going to give you some little ideas on using it. The first thing um, that I've been really busy, if you haven't heard from me on there, is when I first started the rack, I started it in this little binder. I showed you in another uh, thing, you know, where I stamped the American and Canadian. I put all the information on it and everybody was in this folder. But then I got this big idea because I thought, oh, I've got to uh, punch holes in it and you know slide them into the um, sleeve and put them in the binder I thought you know what while I was at my son's I bought these books and I alphabetized it you can see it here and I put all of these wonderful things on here and I was highlighting everything you know and putting everything as you know because I like things organized and I did two books like this and I don't like it because <laughs> the names the, there's just to do this I can't see it at a glance I don't know what it is about doing it with the books so I went out today with my grandchildren and we went to the dollar store and lo and behold I found this so this is going to be my third time that I am putting all of your information onto another sheet and starting over because I don't know about you but I have to be organized in my head that everybody will be getting their stuff and you know is it sent out when it got sent out um, I have to have a checklist on everybody and your address and your uh, if you haven't sent me your birthday I'd love to get your birthdays too by the way and um, but anyway look at this I got these for three dollars and they're four by six, but I love the idea. It had two, one on the top, one on the bottom. And you slide your information sheet so you'll have your information, your friend, and I will know at a glance, just like this, who you are. And then if the next month you want to switch your friend up and you'd like to change for some reason and just uh, meet somebody else, I will just slide out your information and put it in with somebody else. And I bought two of these. There's 200 sleeves. I'm expecting this to grow because it is growing day by day. So uh, I'm going to be busy. That's all I've got to say about that. I This is my third time. I don't want to have to punch holes to put them in this binder. Although this is a nice uh, idea. But, you know, because you can flip through it. But I think the other one will be better because I have your friend on the bottom and you on the top and it's just an easy process. So anyway, I took an eight by 10. I'm gonna get off the rack stuff. Those, well, not right yet. Those of you that have not received your rack, you are going to get it, it is just late. They all went out. So there's no way that you're not gonna get it. It's just taking time with the postal service so I will email you when I get finished here. There, I, there's not many that haven't received it, I don't think. If you haven't received it, email me on my post and I'll send you the envelope sizes of the envelopes that you did receive. All the stuff that isn't an envelope is yours from me. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to use the stuff that I gave you and we are going to do this. So I will send you that info. That's where I'm getting at. So I loved these beautiful napkins. I love to do anything with napkins. Now, what I want to do first is take the colors that are in this napkin. So I took some of this folk art and whatever other kinds I buy on sale. Um, 
I took black, yellow, I took this tan color, and I took some of this turquoise blue. Got it for 50 cents at the thrift store. Haven't even taken the ticket off. But anyway, it. I might have, excuse me, I might have to get some sky blue uh, in there, but it's just on the other side, so it's not terribly far from me. And I'm going to show you how to do um, tomorrow's Mother's Day, and it's a sad day for me. It's my first Mother's Day without my mom. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. And so uh, this would be a lovely gift. I would give this to my mom. And um, so I'm just going to show you an idea that you can use. So let's get at her. I take the napkin and I am going to, from just looking at it, I am going to use, I love daisies. Daisies are one of my favorite flowers. And I am just, let's see. And look at the purples and the pinks in there. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to tear it. I don't like to cut anything when I'm doing this type of thing. I'm just going to go like this. And we will bring it down, down, down. There. And then you can put this piece away unless you want to use it for something else. And let's get at her. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all everybody out there that is a mom. And it's a wonderful day um, to set aside to appreciate your mom. Uh, my mom was a beautiful, beautiful woman. And uh, I miss her. I miss her. June the 3rd will be a year already. I can't believe it. And uh, I've had a lot of prayer going out because I think to lose a mother is one of the hardest things you go through other than a child and your hubby. So, um, if you still have your mom, you make sure that you go the extra mile because you never know what tomorrow will bring, right? I would have never known. So, anyway, I'm going to cover this. Uh, down here, it doesn't matter as much, right? Because that's where my um, napkin is going and it's, I'm going to cover all this up but I do want to add just a little bit of the color here even though I will cover it with something and there's nothing prettier like um, to get a canvas and it dries so quick, quickly and it's a beautiful relaxing um, make sure you have a bit of water right there by you because you can water this down and make it go a little fa uh, farther and I always stand when I do mixed media I don't mind sitting when I do cards but when I do mixed media I like to stand for some reason and um, I'm telling you the evening is when I like to do um, let me put some of this out and if you have a ranger mat like this, you just have to squirt some on there and then that can be your palette. Isn't it funny? Look at that. I have to cover everything. And you get your hands nice and dirty and it's wonderful. And thank you for your wonderful kind compliments. You are so kind to me on Stamp Connection on my blog. Um, it's really special. If you want to visit my blog, you just press in Carol Held on you, on the internet, and it'll come up, stampinribbons.blogspot.com. I'd love to have you join me over. I haven't done many um, cards or crafts since I start. you know, I was on vacation, and um, I just got done talking to my son. Um, he FaceTimed me, and they're getting... It's actually a nice day there today. No snow. Snow is melted. So they're doing their gardens. And, um, he's working away. And I wanted to go when, it, you know, when you visit the north like that in the summer, you have all those black flies and 
teensy flies and no seams and everything else you have to deal with. I thought, no, nope, I'm going when it's colder and it was beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so there's my base. I have the gesso underneath. I put some yellow and then I am going to add, I'm going to open up my Mod Podge and maybe And we will grab, we should actually, let me see, I have two, I'm just going to dry this for a minute. And for some reason my camera, or my lighting is, one of them is hitting it in the wrong spot. Um, is that better? Not really. But anyway, I have my Stampin' Up! Um, heat tool. I was using both of them. That's so funny. So I wanted to hurry the uh, gesso time up. So this one was right there. Um, I love doing. I love getting my hands nice and dirty. But because I'm going to do some stamping on this, there we go. That's good. So take your napkin and your Mod Podge and make sure you have some water hanging around there. Let me, um, I'm just going to grab another paintbrush. Maybe a few. And let's try this nice big one. That's good. And add some Mod Podge. It is, um, I'm telling you, I, I could just, I could stay in my craft room forever. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And you have so much, when you go on vacation, eh, you have so much to do when you get back. It's like, oh, I'm telling you. Um, it's crazy. But I think I'm all, yesterday I baked for my hubby because he loves banana cream pie. My grandkids love it. And I made chocolate chip cookies and macadamia nut and white chocolate cookies. So they were all cookied and pied out. And I couldn't get up into my craft room it seemed until now. My husband's gone shopping with my daughter-in-law. Uh, my birthday is on Victoria Day this year, and it's my big 60th. And for Mother's Day, I'm not his mother, but <laughs> not my husband's mother. But I was at when I was at my son's. He has this waffle maker, and I'm going to tell you, um, oh, it was awesome. It's a professional one, and. Um, they have this store in the States, so they went over to see if they could get it for me. I just, uh, that's what I, I don't want that for my birthday. I have something else planned for my birthday. <laughs> but, anywho, I asked my hubby, could you go and get, my daughter-in-law came over, do you want to go to the States? And they're, no, but, um, well, look at that. This is on the back, that's funny, of my napkin. I said, I want this waffle maker, this professional waffle maker and uh, I'll make everybody waffles <laughs> oh, that's funny what we do yeah that'll probably last just as long as the George Foreman grill did but for now I want one and we'll see what happens when they're they're going to take a look see what they have over there so you know what I'll be having tomorrow if they manage to pick one up. Now tell me that's not gorgeous. Gorgeous. I could work with napkins. Do you ever get pretty napkins today? There. Come on. Come on. I didn't know that this thing had two. Excuse me a minute. I didn't know it had a top and a bottom. So let's peel this off for a second. 
And let's peel this off. I only want to work with that one section. Okay, this is this is what we do. I don't want this part. So let's get it off there. It's going to take me too long to dry. Blah, blah, blah. It's nice and fun to get your hands in all this. And Hey, Deb, I just thought of you. How are you doing? And Carolyn, how are you doing? Johnny wasn't feeling so good. I hope you're feeling better, Johnny. I think of everybody while I'm artsy and I feel bad when people aren't well. And so let's get underway. Let's take my sponge and let's get some more of this on there. This is how nice it is. And even though you saw that I have stuff up there, it's not going to hurt anything because it's on the back. Right? Okay. Let's start over. We can get it off my hands. Okay. There we go. This is much better. There we go. This is awesome. And you don't have to have it all straight because you're going to have other stuff over top. and It's awesome. And it, I think this is the matte finish that I have on here. My grandbabies are doing wonderful. Thank you so much for asking, everybody. I love those little munchy munchies. Just little huggable babies. There we go. So we have that down and that's your napkin. And all of this Mod Podge, don't give it a second thought. There we go. Okay. So when that dries, we will do something on top of there. Hmm. I guess I didn't put any glue underneath there. Mod Podge glue. Mod Podge is glue. There we go. There we are. Isn't that awesome? So, do the other side. And these sponges are nice. They're almost nicer than a get this off. I keep a great big garbage can right underneath there. Okay, so now we have that little piece of napkin. Napkins are gorgeous and that looks like the ocean, doesn't it? So what I chose to do, let me just, I always keep a water on hand that I have right in front of me here. Always keep a little water thing. I go over my garbage to get it off my hands and I keep one of those um, Paper towels just can get costly, so um, there we go. So I just keep one of these J cloths here just to get the main stuff off, and then um, let's uh, let me just. I know it's probably bothering bothering me to know that's under there so let's take it off there we go and we will take our J cloth and this is just something fast I decided to do and a lot of people like to do mixed media like I used to think I, I can't do that like like on a canvas like I'm not a painter but once you start this let me tell you you don't want to stop I'd like to stop right now and find my paper towels that I was using. I carry everything all over my house. Phone rings, I bring my paper towels downstairs and I forget to bring it back up. You want to have some water right there. Probably everybody else can see my paper towels and I can't. But uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. And then let's get that back up. So I gave everybody one of these napkins our uh, doily. So let's take some. Grab some more Mod Podge. And I think, I don't know, I want some color showing. So I'm going to make this like it's the sun up here. I think that'll look nice. And this is how you use up your, uh, and these canvases, even though they go on sale at um, at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, you know, all your big stores. They're at the dollar store now. I get my paints at the dollar store. I mean, craziness. They never used to have that stuff. They are really catering to uh, the, um, the crafting world. Mine is. 
I always say that, you know I say it on my blog all the time, that um, I can just go to my dollar store and grab everything. And this is just, the, I probably won't get all this finished by the time I have to download it. And uh, But I wanted to show you a little idea, have some Mod Podge and Gesso on hand, a few paints like this. And I love it that that yellow's going in there. Isn't that pretty? And let that dry. Then take what's up there. And then I saw this DSP, uh, Stampin' Up! DSP. And I took our uh, bird stamp. And I want to uh, use... I am going to take a string to put up here for the bird to sit in. And I bought a new marker at, you should see all the stuff I bought for the rack pack. I bought rolls because I have a special treat. I need to uh, use this uh, bubble wrap. And um, I haven't even opened all this stuff up. And they have these organizational pens. Aren't these awesome? So I have these little uh, pull-off post-it notes that come out of the top of the pen. Awesomeness. But I bought a... Uh, see that? Everything I buy is for the rack pack. So I bought this pen by Stadler and it's a duo permanent marker. Fine and medium tip. And so when this dries, I don't think I can do it now. Use your medium tip and... I just want to put isn't that awesome, just like that. This is just going to be there. We go a little wire and take a little bit of your blue like that and put it down. And let's grab some water and add. Just a little bit of that on the top. So you can get the feel of having a sky. I might add some and let it just drip down. We'll see. I want that to dry, but isn't that awesome? It doesn't take much. I just want to show you to use up some of your stuff. Take your punch and I'm trying to see everything. I thought it'd be kind of nice to put um some fencing down here in the corner. This fencing I got for a couple of dollars and you could use your machine, your Cricut Explorer and have some of that come out. But right now I just want to concentrate on some birds using this uh, DSP. And what's better than just like that. Let's get a few out there like this. And this will use up your DSP. And um, you can use some of your washi tape, your yellow washi tape. Why don't we put some down here on the bottom, like this, this gingham washi tape. Isn't that awesome? There we go. I'm just giving you some ideas. And you grab yourself a uh, look at this DSP with the bird. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it some 3D effect. So just go like this, dab it on there with your sponge. This is a permanent marker for your tree limb. And um, let's set your bird. One there, add some glue. And let's give it a matching little bird up there. Awesome. That'll dry. Don't worry about that. And do I want one going this way? Maybe. We'll just put one like an imaginary thing up there for now. There we go. We can add some leaves. This is awesome. I'll show you a picture of it when I get finished. But this is what I'm saying. This is wonderful. Let's add some paint in with that. Get some blue in there. This is great. Okay. 
And there we go. Love it. Love it. Run it down here. It's all going to dry, remember. You're not going to, it's light, it'll lighten up like crazy. And there we are. And later on, I might get some dimensionals and put up there. I only have three minutes left. That's crazy. All right, let's see. Isn't this, this is all you do. It's so much fun. So we've used up, we've got some of our, um, let's see, I think I'll add some to the bottom of our washi tape. And the beauty of this, get some stamps and just start stamping away. Take it right up to there, wherever it breaks off. Look at that. That will dry in. Take some of your Mod Podge and secure it down like this. And that used your napkin, like that. You got, um, I would make some flowers out of your paper. Let me grab a little bit of this. Put it in the corner like this. And thank you so much for joining me. I can't believe a half hour goes by so fast. I'm gonna finish this. But I just wanted to show you what you could do with some of that um, rack that I sent you. It is so pretty. And then you can grab, let's grab, I have one of these stamps that I bought at um, Michael's, but it's nice because it's already stamped. And I'm just going to do some, that one's nice. Just a couple, maybe a little bit there. And the ink is already in them. There we go, that's all I'm gonna do with that one. And that says love. And then you can grab, I'm going to do, um, uh, some of you received some of this uh, chipboard pieces. Why don't we put a chipboard butterfly and add some of this um, daisies to it. There we go. So uh, I have a minute. Here's one of these butterflies. Where can I put that? I think right there. And um, just grab yourself a dollar store um, canvas like this, and it's drying up nicely. Then take your nice, um, oh, remember, I don't want that. How many layers does this have? I think three. And this will give you some dimension on your butterfly and you can just tear the rest of it off as you see it with your nail or your pokey tool, whatever. Let's get her off. Isn't that pretty? Just work with it. This has, this napkin has three layers. Oh, my shattered nerves, look at that. Get it off there, don't want you on there. And then you're on your way to a nice canvas. I cannot believe that had three layers. But anyway, just go like this. Work it with your fingers. Mixed media is such a finger, finger type. There we go. Okay, we'll add some paint to that. Doesn't have to all be with your napkin. It is so pretty. Well, thank you for joining me, and here we go. Just see a little bit of it for now. There we are. Have a blessed day.